welcome to my Bubby's Kitchen. Today, we are making escarole and beans, all and beans, however you want to say it. It's delicious. Ingredients for escarole and beans, a wonderful soup. In Brooklyn, we say shkarol, um, but however you call it, escarole, shkarol, it's delicious. We're going to start with the head of escarole, chicken stock, olive oil, salt and pepper, cannelloni beans, lots of garlic, and pecorino romano cheese. Got to start with the garlic. This is a large head of escarole, so lots of garlic. We like garlic. If you're not that fond of it, you can use less. But I wouldn't recommend it. This soup is so quick, it'll take you no time at all. And on a cold night, it's heavy. Didn't get a lot of that into the bowl. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Now, the beginning, of course, I washed the escarole. You want to take off the bottom. Save that. The big leaves, we're going to cut so that everything's in bite sized pieces. All of my greens, I start exactly the same way. I saute some garlic, put the greens in salt and pepper. Sometimes I add red pepper flakes. My mother-in-law didn't do that. You don't really like the red pepper flakes, right, Rich? I, I wasn't used to it. I, we, we never had... She didn't, she didn't cook like that, really, with much pepper. You like pepper. I love pepper. You want me to hold back some of this for uh, just to eat as a side dish tonight? Sure, sure, that's good. All right, I'll hold these big leaves back. I'll make this later. Now we have to saute the garlic. <laughs> We're gonna start with a hot pan. Get our olive oil in. As you can hear, Kiwi is here today. So she knows I'm cooking something good. We'll saute up the garlic. It only takes a couple of minutes. Okay, Key, okay. Let me see. Let 
Let me see if I can get a treat for her. She loves these bones. Here, sweetheart. Here. All right. Back to the soup. Garlic smells good, right? Smells like garlic. Smells like garlic. Nothing better in the world. That may have worked. It may have worked. We'll see. For a little while, anyway. <clears throat> I don't want the garlic to burn, so I'm just moving the leaves around. Some salt and pepper. It only takes a couple of minutes to wilt your leaves. I'm gonna put a cover on. Wait two minutes and I'll see you back then. It's been two minutes. You can see that the escarole has wilted down. I'm going to add the cannelloni beans. Some people like to drain it. I think the juice is fine. I don't take the gunk from the bottom, but I don't mind the juice. little more than three cups of chicken stock. Just want to taste it for a little seasoning. That's good. I want to, might want to put a little red pepper flakes in there. We'll see. I'll let it cook for about five minutes and we'll be back. The soup is just coming up to the boil. So I want to taste it again for seasoning. That's good, but I think a little salt and definitely some red pepper flakes. I know these are bitter greens, but I love them and I like them a little spicy. Want more than that, Rich? Well, we'll see. And that's it. Essentially, this soup is done. Just like to let it cook about five minutes. Nice low simmer. And then we'll taste. And that's all there is to it. 
Let's taste this soup. Want to get lots of escarole? The juice from the can of beans just made the sauce a little bit thicker. We like to top it with lots of Pecorino Romano cheese. A little bit of olive oil right over the top. That's a bowl of happiness. Mm. The red pepper flakes were important. You have to add them. Definitely add them. You're going to love this, Rich. Okay.